Hey, what's going on guys? Tanmay Afan and in this video tutorial, we're going to be continuing with our DOM manipulations that we saw in the previous video of this JavaScript tutorial playlist. So again, in this video, what we're going to be doing is we will be taking input from user from a text box and then we'll show a message or you can do anything with that once we take it. So let's first start off with creating a text box. As you can see, I have a blank HTML document and you can see nothing in the output as of now. So let's add some HTML elements first. So first thing I'm going to add is an input text. So the way we go about is you just type in input and I will say ID is equal to text one. I will give a placeholder value. So what this is, I'll tell you. So I'm going to say enter anything. So there you go. You can see in the output over here. Now this is a very enlarged version because I have zoomed in. If I say control zero, you can see it becomes very small but then it won't be visible. So that's why I just zoomed in a little bit. Okay. So we have our first text box. This is how you create a text box in HTML. I hope you have a basic idea about this. This is a HTML5 text box. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to give a break BR tag and then I'm going to create a button. I'm going to give it an ID of BTN one, close the button and here I'm going to say click me. Okay. So the idea here is, we enter something in the text box. When we click on this click me button, we will get an alert box. We will get a pop-up message. We will print this text into that alert message. Okay. So this is what we're going to do in this video. So now as of now, we don't have any functionality on this button. So just what we did in the previous video, we're going to be doing the same thing. Just that we're going to be using this text box value instead of that H2 tag that we used in the previous video. So again, when we click on this button, we want something to happen and that something can be done using functions. So again, on click event of the button and on click, we want something to happen. So I'm going to say FN one. So this is the name of the function. We are giving a function call over here on click. So we have to create this function as of now, we haven't yet created it. So let's do that. So here I'm going to say function FN one. So this is the name of our function FN one and we are doing this inside the script tag. So now what we'll do is we'll create a variable where str is equal to we're going to be using the document object. So document is a by default object provided by JavaScript, which will access the entire document. I'm going to say dot get element by ID. So this is something that we saw in the previous video. Also, what this method of document object does is whatever ID you pass in the opening and closing round brackets. So in this case, it has to be text one. Okay. So this is our input text and we've given it an ID of text one. So I'm going to pass that ID over here. So this method will get reference to this input text. And then we can get its value by using dot value property. Okay. So this dot value is a property of text boxes wherein we can take the value inside the text box. And what we're doing here is we're storing it in our str variable. Now we're just storing it over here. We have to also pop up the alert box. So we are going to call the method alert inside the alert. I'm going to say value inside the text box is colon. And I'm just going to append the str string variable that we created over here. So let's enter something. I'm going to say Tanmay. By the way, I forgot to mention what this placeholder is. This placeholder basically is shown when nothing is entered. Okay. So you might have seen this in many text boxes on websites wherein until unless you type anything, there is some indication. So basically this is given to let you know what you have to type in. So sometimes it is username or password, depending upon what that text box or that field is going to do. So I'm going to say username and then a person will know, okay, you have to type in username over here. So this acts as a placeholder itself. And this is one of the attribute you can see of this input type text. Okay. So there is no value currently inside this. You can see we are at this cursor. So it's blank. It's just an indication that what we have to type in. Okay. So I'm just going to say Tanmay and if I click on this button, there you go. You can see value inside the text box is Tanmay. So this means that our functionality is pretty much done over here. What we did is we took input from user in a text box and we showed it. Now let's say you want to perform some activity based on what user inputs. So this is something that now you can do. So what I would ask you guys to do as a homework or just a added practice is create two text boxes, give them two different IDs, give one placeholder as username and the next one as password. And when you're creating a password input text, so let me just show it to you as well. Let's say if I create text two, there is a type attribute associated with input types. And when I say type equal to password and this, I'm going to say 
password so if i type anything you can see that i get these dots right so this is what this input type does so i'm specifying that this input text box is only going to take password so directly do not show what you type in anyways what i'm trying to say is just create two text boxes and take value from the user and on the button click what you have to do is if username and password matches you have to show a message in the alert box that username and password is same and if it doesn't you have to say it does not match so on other hand that is you have to use if else in your function okay so that's it for this video guys this was just a small video wherein we learned how to take value from user from a text box and then you can perform any activity as you want if you are a beginner definitely try out this activity that i told you if you don't get it let me know in the comments i would try to help you out so thanks for watching guys see you guys in the next video peace